Winners, what can I say? They tend to keep on winning. Look at Kramer Fave Children's Place, a stock I've loved for ages. Gave us a monster 44% gain last year and has tripled since its lows in 2015. The company just delivered one more set of terrific numbers. And while the stock sold off on the news a little bit, who can blame anyone for taking a profit after such an incredible move? It is still one of the great retail stories of the era. And that's why we were so excited to get a chance to speak with Jane Elfers, the bankable president and CEO of Children's Place, earlier today at the ICR conference. Take a look. Jane, you and your team, great American success story, best in e-commerce, best in the mall, total understanding of the consumer. You've got a pillar strategy that works. Tell us how you were able to triumph well, we put a strategy in place several years ago, and it relies on four pillars, like you said. The first pillar is product. It's always going to be about product, because that's what the, we're in the business to sell. And we have a very, very strong product team. We have a great designer, we have a great sourcing organization, and we have great merchandise. Second pillar is business transformation through technology. There's really two big pieces of that. The first is inventory management systems, so and we've important. been working on those so for important. years. Hugely important, has really helped us get our inventories in line and really helped us with our margin and our AUR. Now, the next phase of that is really digital transformation. And I could go on and on about digital transformation because I think that's really the next frontier for the children's place, and that's what's going to give us the growth for the next three to five years. Huge opportunity. Haven't even scratched the surface on that one. Third one is alternate channels of distribution. Back in 2012, we went after wholesale business. Mm -hmm. We knocked on Amazon's door. We've partnered with them. We do brick and mortar wholesale. Has been great. The other part of that is international. We had no international business. Obviously, we have Canada, but right. I'm talking about franchise business. We now have seven partners, 19 countries, and 168 points of distribution. Every market we've been in, we've been successful. You know, I don't know if you know, but we're the number one children's specialty apparel retailer in North America. Right. I don't see why there's any reason why we can't be the number one children's specialty apparel retailer in the world. Well, I, I know your execution's fabulous. I'm sure you can do that. Two things that people always told me wouldn't work. One, anybody in the mall has to die. Mm -hmm. And two, no one can compete with Amazon on e-commerce. You've proven them wrong. What are you doing right? Well, I think from a mall point of view, you look at our traffic. Our traffic has been sequentially improving for the last seven quarters. So I know there's a lot of talk out there now that fourth quarter was good for some people and traffic got better. But our traffic's been getting better for seven quarters. So I think the things we've done around products and the things we've done around marketing has really helped us get those foot steps into the building. Also, with moms, they really need to bring their kids when they get a little bit older in to try things on. On the younger sizes, like the 2Ts and 3Ts, right. you kind of go with the size range. But when the kids get a little older, not only do their bodies change, but they want to have a say in the product as well. So I think the combination of having a thousand brick and mortar stores right. and a really robust e-commerce business is really part of the key to the success of the children's place. They bring the kids in, the kids get to pick what they want, and then that kind of feeds on itself and they go back and, and also buy on e-commerce. I remember when I started, we were 9% of our business was coming from e-commerce. We're going to end this year at close to 23. That's incredible. Much more than every other brick and mortar that I talked to. There's something that's going on in the country that I've always talked about. It's a new theme. Where the millennials go and what they do <laughs> makes you money. Right. I know I talk about experiential. I talk they go on cruises. They like to hike. But when they become moms, mm -hmm. what do they do? Well, we have the dream customer. We have a 28-year-old millennial mom customer who's pushing us from a digital point of view even faster than we can push ourselves. You look at some of the other traditional retailers or traditional department stores, they have a much older core customer. Yeah. We have the sweet spot. And when you think about the Gen Z customer that's coming up, she's already shopping or he's already shopping in our stores with their mom. And in 10 years from now, you can imagine how savvy they'll be digitally. So for us, it's just the perfect combination. And now when you start to see what's going on with the economy, since I've been at Children's Place, I started in 2010, the birth rates have been dropping since the recession. The wow. last, 2008 was the highest year for births. I think there were 4.2 million births in the United States. It's been going down every year, about 3.9 or 3.8 or million. They've been saying for years that it's going to stabilize. 16 was really the first year it stabilized, and we may see a little bit of growth in 17. To your point, I think with the millennials now, 
they're forming households later. I think they've got a little bit more uh, confidence. I think we'll start to see those birth rates potentially go up in 18, which could be yet another tailwind for us. Okay, how about the fact that if the gross domestic product, people doing better jobs, uh, mm -hmm. Fewer hand-me-downs, more new buys at mm -hmm. Children's Place? Well, of course. And I think also when you look at our product, we, do, we are known for quality and value. So right. people do like to hand it down, but we're also known for fashion. So big fashion, little prices is one of our taglines. So I think mom can come in and, and keep those outfits pretty fresh. Jane, how do you get people to go to work these days and work at Children's Place? And immigrants want to work, but there's rules suddenly from Washington make it a little tough. Uh, people are trying to always, uh, if they can, make a lot of money, mm -hmm. but Children's Place can't afford to pay people fortunes. Mm -hmm. How are you keeping your staff? You know, we have a lot of moms, and moms like to work there, and we love to have moms work there because they're, they're the greatest um, people to give advice to our customers. So we see that a lot, and they love the discount. I love the discount. Mm -hmm. I hadn't thought about that. Yep. If you work there, how much can you save on clothes? A lot. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> International has never been easy for a domestic player mm -hmm. to execute. Mm -hmm. What makes you so confident that you can be the world's biggest? Well, I think because we are the number one children's specialty apparel retailer in North America, right. there's so much white space around the globe for children's apparel. There really is no key player out there. And what we did when we went after it is we said, obviously, we're going to go after the places where the kids are. So we went to the Middle East first, then followed by Israel, and then followed by India. So when you think about the places we are, and we're just scratching the surface in China with Tmall. We don't have a brick and mortar presence there yet. And so when you think about it, we're gone to the places where the kids are and we've been a home run in every one of those places. So I think for us to go from zero in 2012 to 168 points of distribution in 2017, Wow. There's a lot of opportunity there. One last question. I'd be remiss if I didn't talk about how fabulous you've been for shareholders. You like uh, to reward shareholders who uh, yes. own shares of Children's Place, right? We do, yes. And you've <laughs> we been... love our shareholders and we like rewarding them. Well, I got to tell you, you've been a huge winner. You are my hero. Oh. You are the leader, not just, you know, and it's just like, I don't like this woman stuff. You are the leader <laughs> of men and women when it comes to, to shopping, oh, right? I don't know about that, but. Well, then I do. You. We have a great team. <laughs> That's my job. Great team. Okay, Jane Elfers. <laughs> Presidency of Children's Place. I don't care if the stock's up about 100 points <laughs> since we've liked it. I think there's a lot more to go. Jane, congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you. Booyah! Jim Kramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.